Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach, and this is my fun little internet show about white water stuff. And today I'm going to talk about the Air Backraft. This is a boat that I've used a ton. I love it. It is easily, hands down, the best inflatable kayak for hiking into a multi-day trip. This is it. This is the boat. And it is for a couple reasons. The, the biggest one is it weighs 10 pounds. Uh, it, it's a good design. It's a it's well well thought out. But the number one reason is it's a good inflatable kayak that weighs 10 pounds. No other real inflatable kayak is even close. The next next weight is like 25-ish pounds. So if you're hiking in and you have overnight gear, this is the one you probably want to be using. Now a lot of you might be using pack rafts or things like pack rafts, and, and that's cool, and you should if you, if you like those, but I'm not a fan. Um, I've used pack rafts a little bit. I find that with, with multi-day gear, on class four rivers, uh, they're just a little sketchy. And I know people are doing rad stuff and going off waterfalls and, and there's real awesome people out there doing really awesome stuff with pack rafts. For me, for safety, for just running rivers better, I love the, uh, this back raft made by air. And just a couple things to know about this boat. It has this backrest. It's a, it's a really light inflatable backrest. It comes with these really simple uh, leg braces that are really nice. It doesn't have foot braces. So if you want foot braces, you have to put a bag or something here to put your feet up against. So that's something to know. Uh, if you need to tie things down, it, they really can't put D-rings on these boats. So there's little loops right here. I don't know if you can see them. Just little nylon loops. And there's you know maybe 10 of them on each side. So there's a lot of places that tie down. And, and they seem like they would be really weak because they're just little, little nylon loops sewn in. They're strong. I've never seen one break and we put a ton of weight on them. Uh, so I have faith in them. They're not as weighted as they're not going to be as strong as a real D ring, but they're pretty strong. Like I said, I've never seen one break after a lot of use. So I'm, I'm pretty sure those are good to go. And uh, there's one valve for the outer tube, which might make you nervous. Uh, I was actually in a boat one time that popped the outer end inner layer and I pretty much sank. Um, the boat kind of floated, but it was a little unnerving. And so uh, that's something to keep in mind that it only has one valve for the outer tube. But if the outer tube blows, the floor does stay inflated, so it does still like have a little bit of float to it. Um, but out of the, I've probably seen 30 tears on these boats, and only one's gone through the inner and outer outer tube. So I feel pretty good about not having that happen very often. And that's a thing to know about this boat. It's only possible because of Air's inner outer tube design. And, and the way Air boats work is there's an inner bladder that's urethane, and it's inside this boat. You can't see it. It's clear. It's really thin. And this outer layer protects it. And this outer layer doesn't hold air. Uh, then you can see the zippers is kind of thrown over the top. This is a protective layer that goes over the top of the, the urethane bladder inside. And this fabric that makes the outer layer, you just can't make a boat out of just this fabric. You can't make something that holds air. So only air has the ability, the company air, has the ability to actually make a boat like this out of these materials. It's just light. So it's, it's a pretty cool boat for a lot of reasons. It's one of the reasons is international travel. If you're traveling internationally with boats, you'll find that it's really hard to bring boats with you. You can bring hard shells, you can kind of bring rafts. There's some rafts you can get under 50 pounds, but when you're traveling with a PFD, a helmet, uh, maybe overnight gear, if, if possibly, or just stuff, you know, you quickly have two or three bags that are super heavy. This weighing 10 pounds is pretty sweet for traveling. And it rolls pretty small, so volume-wise, it doesn't take that much space. So I really love this boat. I've taken it to Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. I've taken it to Bhutan. And, and just throwing these in a bag with all your paddling stuff is, is pretty easy. So I really like, like that about these things. Uh, also, when you're boating with a boat this light, it'll change your mind in terms of portaging. It's incredibly easy to portage or line around really complicated portages. You know, sometimes a you know, 30, 40 pound boat to haul that up and over around is a pain, where this is just really simple to carry a boat this light. So for portaging, it's really, really nice. And uh, for overnight stuff, we use it with this Hyperlite pack. I've done quite a few episodes about Hyperlite packs. I'm not gonna do another one. But this pack is also incredibly light, and it's the, it fits in the boat nicely. It's the same width as the boat. So, you know, you can use it uh, and fill it up with stuff. There's some waterproof-ish bags that go inside that are super light to make a nice waterproof package. So I really like that it works with this Hyperlite pack. So there's a lot of really good things about this boat. Um, and I, I would say one of the best things is that Air is just a great company. I, I always appreciate Air. They back up their product. 
uh, even though we put a bunch of tears in these, and, and these are tears of me doing kind of like really abusive things, Air's always covered them under the warranty. So I'm super appreciative of Air as a company, but also for backing up the product. Um, some some downsides to this boat. The, the main ones for me, the the the, 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 the quick downsides are I don't these little tie down straps. They're good and bad. I mean they're they're not perfect. There's not a foot brace. Obviously those are some downsides. Uh, the big ones though is is it's not they're not incredibly durable. They're is durable. They're more durable than you would think for 10 pounds. But I've definitely torn a bunch of them, and uh, luckily they're not that hard to repair. Uh, but you need to know how to sew these things for repair. So repair is something you should learn and possibly practice before you go uh, in case you need to. And so they're not, they're not as durable as, as other regular rafts, but again, very impressive for the weight. Uh, and the other, other downside is I'm not really inspired by the design of the boat, by the shape of the boat. Uh, it kind of, I'm not a big fan of this diminishing tube that goes to sort of a point. Uh, when I'm doing multi-day trips, I like to put gear in the bow and stern. And with less volume up here and weight, the bow kind of dives a little bit and could cause you to, to flip over some uneven drops. And, and so I wish that they had made, personally, if I was to make this boat, and I'm not sure it's for everybody, but personally, I would have put um, had the same size tube all the way to the bow and put a lot more volume in the bow and stern for handling loads well, but also for just skipping over drops, that kind of thing. And that's just a personal thing of mine. Some of you might disagree. And if you do disagree, I'd love to hear in the comments. If you like uh, pointed ended boats, um, it'd be good for me to know because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan. But uh, overall, it's a technological marvel and, and Air has really done a great job doing this. And, and it's, this isn't for Air. I'm sure they're not doing this as like a business move. They're not making bucks off this boat. Uh, they're just, they love innovating. They love trying new things out. And the staff at Air, I just want to give a big uh, thumbs up to you guys like doing this for the community, allowing me to run a lot of rivers I wouldn't have otherwise been able to run. Um, I, like I said, I, there are places I paddled that I never would have gone to if I hadn't had this boat. The fact that this boat exists has got me on, on the water more. So I'm super appreciative of Air for making it. it it's, a, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, the last thing I want to finish up with is, this is the old air fabric, this green fabric. The new boats, the new ones that just came out this year are a blue fabric, and it's a more of a ripstop. And I've used that boat a few times, and uh, so it's, it's strong, the material is stronger. Um, and, and they told me that, and I believe it, because I've tested it a little bit. And it's even a little slipperier. And I like slipperier fabrics, because they go over rocks better, and which helps for just boating. But also, um, if it slides over a rock, it's less likely to tear. And so I'd highly recommend the newer boats as being even more durable. And I've seen the guys at Air actually take the fabric once it's torn and try to pull it apart. And they, with all their might, they couldn't pull it. So that ripstop really works for making small tears getting bigger. So again, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of that, of the new fabric, and highly recommend it. So that's it on the Air Backraft. Uh, like every, every video, if you've used it, have comments, you like it, don't like it, want to have a discussion, please add comments in the comment section below. And I always love subscribers, so if you want to subscribe, there'll be like a little, my logo right here, a little tree. Just click it, press subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers right now. I'm at like 492, so I could use a few more. So that's it, and see you next time. Thanks.